I don't know what to say, really. Three minutes till the biggest battle of our professional lives all comes down to today. Either we heal as a team or we're going to crumble. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time. Now, I can't do it for you. I'm too old. I look around, I see these young faces, and I think, I mean, I made every wrong choice a middle-aged man can make. I, uh, believe it or not, I chased off anyone who's ever loved me. And lately, I can't even stand the face I see in a mirror. You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from you. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's this game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, Life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. On this team, we fight for that itch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the difference between winning and losing. It's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now, I can't make you do it. You got to look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now, I think you're going to see a guy who will go that inch with you. Hell yeah. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for him. Yeah. But that's a team, gentlemen. And either we heal now as a team yeah. or we will die as individuals. That's football, guys. That's all it is. Now, what are you gonna do?
almost everything to football, which I've spent the greater part of my life in. And I have never lost my respect, my admiration, nor my love for what I consider a great game. And each Sunday after the battle, one group savors victory, another group lives in the bitterness of defeat. The many hurts seem a small price to pay for having won, and there's no reason at all which is adequate for having lost. The winner, to the winner, there is 100% elation, 100% laughter, 100% fun. And to the loser, the only thing left for him is a 100% resolution, a 100% determination. And it's a game, I think, a great deal like life and that it demands a man's personal commitment, be toward excellence, and be toward victory. Even though you know that ultimate victory can never be completely won, yet it must be pursued with all of one's might. And each week, there's a new encounter, each year, a new challenge. But all of the rings and all of the money and all of the color and all of the display, they linger only in the memory. But the spirit, the will to win, and the will to excel, these are the things that endure. And these are the qualities, of course, that are so much more important than any of the events that occasion it. And I've got to say that the quality of any man's life has got to be a full measure of that man's personal commitment to excellence and to victory, regardless what field he may be in.